Good afternoon, Year 9. This week we're going to start a bit of a topic, a bit of a uh, ongoing research project, for a better phrase. And as you can tell by the first slide here, it's going to be on artificial intelligence. Lesson objectives. These aren't for this one lesson. These are for each week. So today I'm going to ask you to look at the history of AI. Next week I'm going to ask you to look at the developments in AI. The week after that you're going to look at the consequences of AI and the legal issues that might arise. For week four, you're going to look at ethical considerations. And then weeks five and six, you're going to look, you're, sorry, you're going to create your own presentation. Now, I'm aware that not everyone's got access to the, a computer or one that's got PowerPoint. So, again, pay, pen and paper is fine for me. Any way you want to put your presentation together, that's cool. Right, first off, and what is AI? This is off Wikipedia. Uh, just my, and I thought it was quite a good definition. In computer science, artificial intelligence, or AI, sometimes called machine intelligence, is intelligence demonstrated by machines in contrast to the natural intelligence displayed by humans and animals. Leading AI textbooks define the field as a study of intelligent agents, that is, any device that perceives its environment and takes actions that maximise its chances of successfully achieving its goals. I think the best example I can think of at the moment is automated cars. Or also, there's another example coming up in a sec. Other so... Modern machine capabilities, generally classified as AI, include successfully understanding human speech, competing at the highest level in strategic games, such as chess. Uh, was a, IBM have a computer called Watson, I think it's called, that can beat all the grandmasters at chess. So that's, again, using its environment to maximise its chance of succeeding, which is to win. Autonomously operating cars, now like Tesla and Apple, and these sorts of people, Google, have got mixed results Unfortunately, some people have been killed by the cars because they can't, they just don't at the moment have the senses, the reactions, the database of experience to fall back on uh, of driving. Like I've been driving for 26 years now, you know, no computer can compete with that at the moment. I think there will be a time when they do, but at the moment that, that's ongoing. But again, I think that's going to be a big thing that I suspect Google and Apple are all putting a significant amount of money into. Uh, intelligent routing in content delivery networks. Now, a content delivery network, or CDN, is what websites use to speed up the website. So, common things on a website, like images and the font. To make the font look the same on all computers, used to be you had to have the font installed on the computer. These days, you can use things like Google Fonts, where Google deliver the font to your phone in a fraction of a second, so you can't tell the difference. But a lot of the stuff is held in different places to make sure it's delivered to you as fast as possible. Now, I know it sounds a bit daft that having the stuff in more than one place means it'll take less time, but what they can try and do, they generally kind of like side load it at the same time and speed things up as daft as it sounds. And I suspect this one is very heavily funded on in the background, the military simulations of, you know, what might happen if Vladimir Putin puts all his tanks in you know, toward pushes them through Ukraine, how quickly could they get to Berlin, this sort of thing, that will be heavily invested in, we just don't know about it. The only thing I would say about this list, I dispute the first one, I don't think successfully understanding human speech is intelligent in any way, it's just converting speech, you know, speech to text, I don't think it's, that's just my personal opinion. So, this week, it's a research the history of AI, I have put the links to two good BBC articles on, show my homework, there's not really much point, you know, you can rewatch this video if you want. There's a few bits and pieces in there. The original definition I got was from Wikipedia. Feel free to do your own research. Remember, it's the internet, so take some of it with a pinch of salt. You know, places like BBC, Wikipedia, uh, CNN, Guardian newspaper, they're generally deemed as credible. You know, if it's some Dave's post off Facebook about his opinion of AI, the chances are it's not quite as well researched, shall we say, or well balanced. So when you're doing your research, spend as long as you think you need to. Take some notes, because like I say, in two or three weeks' time, you're going to do a presentation. That's way, really. So I hope you guys have all had a good week. I hope you have a good week coming up. I hope you guys are all fit and well. And as always, if you need anything, feel free to send me a message. And you guys take care.